What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm at a rummage sale. I am looking for treasure that I can flip online, make some money, and I've already found a lot of great stuff. It's up front waiting for me right now. But this is my final pass through before I leave. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything great. There's a lot of, you know, smaller items. You can make a little bit of money at rummage sales everywhere just because things are generally cheap. But I'm trying not to buy too many smalls. I got a lot of things to list as it is. It's almost impossible though when you come to these sales not to get some items. You know what you're only going to make $10 on. Because a lot of times you buy stuff blind as well. Here's this camera or film or something. I'm not sure what it is, but the box feels empty. You know, I could have opened it. Maybe there's something in there, but I don't think I'm really interested in that. Stuff piled up here. And I've already been through all this, like I said. Uh, it's been pushed around by other people, though, so maybe something's revealed here. And uh, I don't see anything, though. Some power tools down there. I know a lot of people buy the tools, the lawnmowers, yard equipment, stuff like that, and they flip it on Facebook Marketplace great time of year to do that got some nascar stuff there pretty cool glassware there i don't think that was anything very special over here is just some old figurines and yeah some of this stuff i'm seeing you can definitely make a little bit of money on especially if you're paying 50 cents to a dollar a lot of it will sit for a long time though not really interested in you know buying a lot of this stuff uh, just the better stuff and something on this table is actually worth a lot of money or at least a good amount of money. And I almost didn't pick it up, even though I know it's valuable. Uh, there's a guy talking to me there. I think my mind just got distracted. That's what I'm going to, that's my excuse. My mind got distracted. I do buy it though. Uh, and of course, I'll show that in the hall. Uh, there's a tape player. Portable, uh, the brand wasn't good. You know, maybe, again, that's something you could make a little bit of money on, even though it's a bad brand. You can sell for like $12 if you get it for 50 cents. Sealed Richard Simmons DVD for a dollar. This I buy, you know, I'm not only going to make about $8 on it in the end, but it's something that's just so quick to list that, and so easy to ship that it's just kind of worth picking up. And toys, a good amount of toys. I got some toys today. Not as many as I would uh, like to have got, though. Let's see if there's anything else. Fur Reels Monkey. It could be worth a little bit of money. Generally, that stuff is very saturated on eBay, not worth picking up. You can kind of see my bag back in the holding area here. The blue Ikea bag. I was going to show you some stuff, uh, but I can't get through. People in the way. For whatever reason, this rummage cell in the middle of this hallway is where you pay for stuff. I don't know. Uh, surely there's got to be a better way to do that. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that's one of the problems, especially with small rummage cells, is just getting through... Uh, especially for someone like me who wants to record footage. But it's a small price to pay for the adventure and the chance to find some great stuff to make money. You just never know what you're going to find at these things. And it keeps it exciting for me every single time I go. Lots of clothing. Uh, not a lot of men's clothing. I did find some great shoe deals today. Uh, very happy to find those. Of course, I'm going to be showing you everything here in the hall. And I'm just passing through this kitchenware stuff. You got some dishes, you got some knife sets, nothing spectacular. Maybe some money to be made. Again, I'm not looking for just, you know, profits on, small profits on just smaller items as much. Uh, but, you know, I still have to buy smalls just to keep money flowing in consistently. I just don't want very long tail smalls. And some cool looking glasses there, mugs. I've been on the lookout for some good mugs. I, I feel like I don't find enough good mugs at sales. Uh, didn't look through those very well, though, did I? But you know what? It's time for me to show you everything I found today. I think you're going to enjoy it. Here is what I found at the rummage sale. I also got a few things I picked up locally I'm going to show you. Some cool stuff. We'll start back here in the corner with these brand new inbox Fila shoes. These were $4. They're not going to be huge money, even new, because Fila is just not that popular of a brand. But I still think I can sell these for at least minimum $30 plus shipping. So very happy to find those. And then below it, I got this Hello Kitty Lego set for $3. It's got the manual in there and it's got the pieces in a bag. So it looks like it could be all complete. Hopefully, 
because I think this is pretty valuable. I picked it up because it was Hello Kitty and just some Hello Kitty stuff. It seems to be very valuable, I'm finding out. The only evidence of this online is a couple on eBay, and they're new, and they're priced almost $300. So uh, I'm going to come in pre-owned, probably at $150-ish if it's complete. And if it's not complete, I know it's going to be close to complete just by looking at the pieces. So I'll probably still price it 100 bucks to see if it will sell. And I called it Lego because it says Lego, but it's actually Mega Blocks. So not, not really Lego. But it is Hello Kitty Mega Blocks, and I can still bring in some good money. Yeah, you know, I was digging through the plush, and I came across this 80s McDonald's, Ronald McDonald plush for a dollar that's quite clean and i can kind of remember this i'm pretty sure i must have got one of these as a kid you know it's not worth a whole lot at all um probably could sell it for 10 15 dollars maybe i saw some new still in the bag selling for 20 it is very clean for the age i just kind of have vague memories of it from my childhood so i picked it up at a dollar i got a couple pairs of great shoes here at the rummage sale a dollar for these Hoka shoes and they had prices or different prices on each pair of shoes like the Filo were four dollars these were a dollar I'm assuming just because of the dirt on the sides there which you know I'll wipe off pretty easily other than that these are in great physical condition this is a good pair uh, once I clean these I'll probably price them between 60 and 70 dollars and they're going to sell so at a dollar, that's going to be some great profit. I snagged up these. How much were the Michigan Nike shoes? Five dollars, and that's quite a bit more, but you know what? They're definitely very valuable. These I should be able to sell for about $70 plus shipping based on looking at the comps. These are in amazing condition, very lightly worn. So yeah, I'm going to price these $69.99. And they should sell. So when I first got in the rummage sale, I saw this laser jet ink cartridge for $10, unfortunately. I'm like, well, I'll throw it in the bag and look it up later. Before I left, I did a quick scan and I noticed, hey, these are selling pretty good. I think I'll be able to sell it for about $40 plus shipping. It's a shame it wasn't the full pack of the black, blue, and yellow also because it would have brought over $200. I've done very well with these toners at rummage sales and garage sales. I picked them up. I re Last year, I picked up, uh, oh, I think it was two years ago now i picked up an hp set that i ended up selling for about 350 dollars so anytime i see these it's always exciting and some of them aren't worth much at all it just depends uh, this one i'll make some profit on so i saw these sebastian miniatures and the reason i picked them up was i don't really don't know a whole lot about them i kind of remember the name i probably looked them up before here's a set of two for 50 cents so i thought why not it's got some paperwork the box george washington you know i might be able to sell the box for like 12 dollars, both of them something like that not big money again i just picked it up because of the price and i wasn't really sure the value same goes with this these radios are usually worth picking up of course sheritone not you know the greatest brand you know, I would prefer this to be a Sony or something like that, then it could be really good money. However, this one, I think I can still sell for $15. It says it works, so I don't know if the headphones are in there. It usually doesn't matter because headphones like this just, you know, go bad. The foam just rots away over the years. People want to use their own. But again, it's just one of those items that I've sold this kind of stuff in the past, and I just threw it in the bag. So here is a PSP game. It's pretty nice, $3. I actually didn't expect this to be that valuable. I just kind of bought it because, well, it's a PSP game and wrestling games can be good. But yeah, it th this is selling between $35 and $40. It looks like complete. This is complete and in good condition. So oh, nice pickup for $3. I'll take it. Moving on back here, I got this new inbox VTech toy. Talks does something. I think the batteries are currently dead in it. However, on eBay, it's selling for about $30 plus shipping new. I paid $5 for it, so I'll make some money. Here's another thing I just picked up because these things can be worth money. Usually it takes Department 56, Lamax, or a name brand. This is a spooky hollow witch house Halloween village thing. Uh, this actually looked like it was selling for around 20 bucks. So I'll probably list it for like $15 plus shipping. Maybe it'll sell around Halloween. See, it was $1.50. So in the end, I think I'll do all right on it, picking it up. Take a look at this. It's a phase 10 dice. I've talked about these on the channel many times now. The price on these is insane, especially if you're selling them on Amazon. The last one I sold on Amazon, I sold it for $89.99. This one is in the big box version. It has like the dice tumbler. And uh, actually, I'd rather it be the small tin one because this doesn't really have a listing on Amazon. It has kind of a bad list listing, uh, so I still might try to sell it on there for like 70 bucks. 
But even on eBay, I can sell this for $40. It's complete, got the dice, instructions, and a big thick pad of uh, keeping score, which is always good. I'm probably gonna try Amazon, and I'll make about $50 at least on this. Here are some bags of these Disney Dalmatian figures, and all 101 could have been there. Uh, I left these for a while, and I was just grabbing other stuff, and I came back on like a final pass-through. And I'm like, you know what, I'll start grabbing these. Picked up two bags and some other woman just started grabbing the other bags. And I'm just like, oh well, I'll just take these and see what happens. But uh, yeah, I still think I'm going to make at least $10 profit on these. Uh, just lotting them up and selling them for about $15 plus shipping, something like that. Here's some DVDs. I picked up this Richard Simmons for a dollar because it was sealed. Some Richard Simmons stuff is pretty good, actually. I think I could sell this for about $14, $15. You know, media mail shipping, I'll still make decent profit for the time I have invested in it. And then below, it's just a BBC DVD set, and I think I sell that for about 15 as well. So it's just easy extra money. And then the last thing I picked up at the rummage sale is this, which is oh, kind of a bolo, because it's surprising how much, you know, these things are worth. Big Buck Hunter Pro. This is one of those plug-in-the-TV games where you use the gun here, obviously, to shoot at the screen, kind of like Duck Hunt or something, but you're hunting. It was $2. Uh, this thing can sell upwards to $70, even $80, depending on the model. The sensor bar right here can sell for $30 to $40 by itself. And I passed this up, like, the first time, and then when I was looking, I, I touched it. And I'm like, wait a minute. These things are actually worth money. Something I learned about about a year ago, they were going up in value and I just haven't been paying attention or I finally see one and luckily I noticed it because, you know, people would have saw the video and been like, Wick, why didn't you pick up Big Buck Hunter Pro? It is a little embarrassing how many things I touch that I know is valuable and then I, I don't even buy it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably price this. Well, I don't know, maybe $60 plus shipping. Hopefully it works okay. And here are some things I picked up locally. I thought I'd just throw into this video and show you because I thought they were kind of cool vintage things. Uh, these Gremlin Storybook Records, a uh, complete set of five. I paid $10 for these. I think I can sell them for around 30 ish at least. So I think that's going to be a good pickup. They're in great condition. I paid $5 for a stack of PlayStation games, original ones. Uh, nothing super great. I think this could be $20, $25. The Lion King, like $15. Then these, probably more like $10 or less for the Tarzan and uh, Test Drive Off-Road. But for $5, there's some good profit there. Here's something very cool. I love these books as a kid. Find Your Own Fate, aka Choose Your Own Adventure. This is the Indiana Jones version. If you're not familiar with these kind of books, you just read. And then you'll come to like a scenario like, oh, the boulders rolling down the cliff. What do you want to do? You know, jump to the right, <laughs> try to catch it. And you have multiple choice answers, and then you just turn to the page it says, whatever answer you choose, and the story continues based on your choices. And I thought this was a phenomenal idea. I still think it is. I think more books. I don't know if they're still making these, but they should be. Anyway, I paid $30 for this set of five, and I should be able to sell this between $100 and $110. I'll probably price it $110 because I like it and I don't mind sitting on something like this. I'll probably even read through them. Why not? But they should be some great profit in these Choose Your Own Adventures books. Yeah, I paid $5 for this Angry Birds space game. Uh, this is one of those games that sells for about $70 on Amazon. I've sold uh, Angry Birds space not as much as the Angry Birds knock on wood. But the space one, I still sold a couple editions for $70 on Amazon. I have a parts box, so I'm pretty sure this is probably complete. If not, I think we'll be good with the extra parts box, and I should make some decent profit on that. Paid $5 for these vintage Disney uh, framed puzzles. They're not going to be huge money, but at $5, they're in great condition. And they're all Disney, so they're pretty popular, pretty sought after. I think I can sell for about 25 plus shipping, $20 plus shipping a minimum. So yeah, I picked them up, give them a shot. And then finally I got this VCR, paid $5 for it. No remote, but it's a rapid rewind version, which do very well. I can probably still sell this between 45, maybe even $50 without the remote plus shipping so it's worth picking up it's worth my time but there it is everybody that is my haul what do you think do you think it's a good one would you have bought the same stuff 
If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button for me. Also, please subscribe if you haven't and you enjoy the videos and you plan on to keep watching them. That will really help my channel out a lot. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.